Good morning, Church. Welcome to our Devotion Insight. It's a joy to have you to come online with us to hear from the Word before you start the day. You know, I started with y'all uh, two days ago on a new subject called Seven Ways to Renew Your Mind. And I started on with Stop Waiting for Outside Miracles to Change Your Mind. We can't do that. The story, secondly, second thought I want to share with you is this. Stop believing that you can't control your thoughts. Don't believe that. You can't control your thoughts. You can. That's why the Bible tells us in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, I read that day, keep this book of the law always on your lips, meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. And then you will be prosperous and successful. See, the second lie of the enemy that we must repent of is this, I cannot control my thoughts. That's what the devil, the enemy of our soul, want you and I to believe. That we can't control our thoughts and that our thoughts control us. You know, it is a weak excuse that the devil has whispered into our mind. And this excuse is not scriptural as well. The Bible never said that. The Bible commands us, you see, uh, in Philippians chapter 4, verse 4, it said, he said, think about this thing, the good things, the good things that we allow to come into our mind. Then he says in Joshua chapter 1, verse 8, which we read just now, he said, you shall meditate on it day and night. And then also in Psalms 1, 2 says, you know, on his law, he meditates day and night. You know what? We can control our mind and, and purposefully set our mind in the right way with the word of God. Think what is true, what is good, what is honorable, what is uh, 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 building up, what is a praiseworthy, rather than all those negative things that the devil wants us to focus on. You know, it's very clear that you are expected by God to choose your thoughts and my thoughts. Not let your thoughts and my thoughts always be chosen by something else. Don't let what happened around us, don't let what happened to us, don't let people control, force us to choose our thoughts. You and I can choose our thoughts. How do we do this practically? It is true that we get attack in our minds, which is true, because our minds are better few, not a playground. It is a better few of the enemy. When the enemy attack you and I, the enemy attack you and I, the first area, the first place is your mind and my mind. As Christians begin to connect his spirit with the Holy Spirit, as his spirit with the Spirit of God, as, the, as Christians continue, continue to begin to reach out to God, your spirit and my spirit begins to get stronger. You know, one thing about us as Pentecostal is that we have the ability to speak in other tongues when the Holy Spirit comes upon us. And when you begin to speak in other tongues, the Holy Spirit somehow energizes your spirit and my spirit, energizes your faith and my faith, lift you and I up in our faith, in our life, and also in our mind. The mind is a servant to you and I, either to your spirit or to your flesh. The mind is a servant either to the Spirit of God or the flesh, our kind of nature or our new nature. When the spirit within us, our spirit is weak, the mind runs errands for the flesh and the old nature by thinking negative thoughts. Have you ever found that out yet? When you and I are tired and when you and I are weary, when you and I are bombarded in all areas, you realize your mind runs errand by all the negative things and all the happenings that is not good around us. And we begin to think negative thoughts. But when we constantly build our spirit by communing with the Spirit of God, by reaching out to the Spirit of God, by praying in tongues and speaking in tongues, our mind, the Bible tells us, our mind comes under the influence of the Word of God. When you feed your mind with the Word of God, when your Holy Spirit reaches up to the, Holy, the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit who lives in us somehow energizes your spirit and my spirit. That's why we speak in other tongues. 
when we do our devotion, when, it, when we go through the daily uh, chores and works and routine of the day in our times of breaks, break time. You know, we can pray in the Spirit, we can look to the Lord, and we, and we are not left without choice. The spiritual lips we don't energize us. We are left with the choice to think on God's things or let the mind go with the flow of life. You know, it's so sad if we allow our lives just to flow with the things of life and circumstances of life, you know what? We will be hot, heat, heated, uh, heat, and uh, a whack and, 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 and wrestle so much within our life that we can't rise up. There seems to be a weight upon our lives. You see, for example, every country has border patrol to stop people from entering who are not supposed to enter. Why? It is for the purpose of protection and safety of the country. Like even a cross over to Thailand, you can't cross over. Like you're gonna cross over to, to uh to Singapore illegally. You can't cross over. You have to go to the main entrance. So it is to keep the country safe and protect the country. You and I have to learn to set up a border control in our mind to stop all terrorists, all bad thoughts of doubts, of fear of negativity from entering and living in our mind. Why? Because they will only bring harm to your life and my life. We have to learn to set up a patrol over our mind. Do not allow bad thoughts to come in, the devil to bring negative thoughts in our mind. So stop believing the lie of the enemy that you can't control your thoughts. You can. Control your thoughts by filling your mind and my mind with the Word of God. Only allow that which is good to come into our mind. Only allow that which is of praiseworthy, of encouragement, of building up, of faith, of God, of the goodness of God, of the bigness of God, of the power of God, of the miracles of God, of the promises of God, of the wonders of God, of the love of God, to fill your mind and my mind, and all this come to where? The Word of God. So the Word of God do a number of things. One, as it enters our mind and our spirit, it cleanses our mind. Number two, it will fill your mind with truth. The Bible says, if you know the truth, the truth will set you and I free from fear, from bondages, from uh, negative thoughts, from doubt, and you know what? The third thing that happens is this. When you have the word, the truth in your life, in my life, the word not only sets you free, the word empowers and energizes belief, trust, and faith in your life and in my life towards our God. Amen? So today, as you go to your work or go to school, as you leave the house, Remember this same thing. Stop believing that you and I can't control our thoughts. You actually can. Will you say this to me? I can control my thoughts. Amen? And you can allow that which is good to come into your mind and not that which is bad. Why? The good energize, build up, strengthen, push you forward. But the negative will slow you down, will tear you down, and make you a gloomy, hopeless person for the day. Amen? So you have a great day, have a great, great day, and believe God for a miracle if you think good thoughts. Amen? God bless you.